Hi, this is Amy with the Best Food Review Road Trip, and today we are in Cannon Beach, Oregon. Now, Cannon Beach is located in the northwest corner of Oregon, and after we parked, we were lucky there was a brew pub yeah, right yeah, there. That was pretty lucky. I was pretty thirsty. The beer was good. Then we got to go to the same old beach shops that you find everywhere with all the same old overpriced items. No, no, and no, 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 no. There was some pretty interesting stuff. I found some cute shops and found things I haven't seen everywhere. Well, the coolest thing I found there was Bill's Tavern <laughs> Brew House, <laughs> where brew I house. could get some chowder and a beer before heading out to the beach. Well, the beach is great because it's right there by downtown. And what's great is when the tide is out, you can really right up to Haystack Rock, which is the most iconic point of Cannon Beach. Well, after walking around town for a little bit, we found ourselves at Tom's Fish and Chips. I don't know if it's any good, but I'm thinking I need some fish and chips, so let's go inside and check it out. Walking into this place is a surprisingly charming, I think, because it's got a, got a, a fast food look to it. Um, actually, when I came in and I looked up, the ceiling is kind of covered with all kinds of uh, decorations and tchotchkes. The menu is on the wall there, and they offer pretty small selection, but probably something that anyone would like. Um, and we got some variety. We're looking forward to showing you. Now, you're going to order your food. You're going to wait at your table, and they're going to bring your selections out to you, which is kind of cool. Amy said I get to introduce to Bia's. So at this particular location, we're doing the Windmere Hef, which is basically just a heavy wheat beer. Not heavy at all, but it is weedy and delicious. How's that look? It looks like fish and chips, right? It's nothing special. I think it's just Pacific cod. It looks like it's lightly breaded here. They're not huge fillets, but they're definitely, oh, my fingers are burning. They're hot. I don't know if you can see any steam off there, but they're definitely smoking hot. So I'm gonna let those sit for just a minute. We got some French fries and pretty much everywhere I go, I'm going to get clam chowder. So we're gonna see how their clam chowder here holds up. Now here at Tom's, they have their own tartar sauce. So, I'm gonna open that up. My fingers are really greasy from that fish. So just note to self, it's really, really greasy breaded fish. All right, let's give it a shot. That's actually really good. It's not overly breaded. Fish is cooked perfectly. Good job, Tom's. Now, French fry review. Yep, it's a French fry. Let's try this chowder now. This chowder is a little more runny. If you can see that or not. It's a little runny, it's super hot. And this is like the smallest chowder spoon I think I have ever seen in my life. This is almost like a little, I don't even know what that is guys, but it's gonna take a while to eat this. It's super hot. Check out how little this is in my mouth. It's got really good flavor actually. Um, spice really well, it's a little runny, but there's actually a lot of clam. Here, check this out. You got potato, but look at all that clam right there. I mean, I have to say, whoops, spilled some, darn it. Look at all that. It's definitely, definitely gonna be a decent chowder, but it's so hot right now. Actually, the flavor's really good, really good. Um, but I like to put Tabasco on it, so before I do that, I'm letting you try it out. It's pretty common that someone in your group isn't gonna like fish, and I love fish, but I went ahead and decided to order a cheeseburger just so I could try them out because they do, um, on their signs there, it's like fish and burgers. So I wanted to like, hey, how good's their burger? I ordered a cheeseburger. Um, you can also order a double cheeseburger for a couple dollars more. I'm having a hard time peeling this apart for you, but it looks like cheese and it comes with mustard ketchup, 
onions and pickles she asked me when I ordered if I wanted all those things which indicates to me that these are made to order we'll see so the bread's a little smashed I don't think I did that mm. I would say that the quality and flavor of this hamburger is in line with Burger King now I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing because Burger King is fast food hamburgers. It has a grilled flavor to it. It has the same kind of condiments on it. Um, and that might be a great thing if you have a picky eater. It's my turn to try the fish. So, wow, Paul actually saved me a whole, ooh, that's so hot. Can I just take your, your half? I'm gonna take his half. I know he might have bit on this, but we are married, so I don't mind his spit. Dip it in the... I think for the price that you pay here, this is a quality fish. I mean, the cod is light. The breading isn't like takeover. It's not tempura. It's more just a seasoned batter. Uh, tartar sauce is yummy. And it's cooked really well. So I think it's a win. Um, time to try french fries. I don't know if I had a french fry I didn't like. That's not true. I'm sure that at some point in one of my reviews I said I didn't like the fries, so you can call me out. Mm. These are good. I mean, there's um, they were nicely salted. They were warm. They were actually hot when we got them. And uh, I'm going to have one more. <laughs> Oops. Paul's right. This, this chowder is a little runny. I'll try to get everything I can in one tiny bite. It's so hot. I can't even give you. Oh, my eyes are watering. So that's the burger. That's the size of the burger. Really puny. It looks real. It's like you know how like a smash burger. Only they smash the bun and everything too with it. So I guess it's a super smash burger. Mm -hmm. I can see where Andy was saying it's like a Burger King burger. It tastes like a barbecue burger. When they like went out and bought frozen patties to cook at the barbecue. So I definitely don't think I'd come here for the hamburgers. But the fish was good. Let me try that chowder again now that it's probably cooled down. It's not cooled down. <laughs> Amy says it's not cooled down yet. But it looks pretty cool. Let me try it out here. I'll give you a, a, a better assessment of it. The flavor's good, Every, the, the ingredients are good, just too runny. Should be a little bit thicker, a little bit easier to eat. So what did we think of Tom's? I think overall we liked it. Because we came here for fish and chips and we were happy with the fish and chips. The restaurant is cute. It's clean, the service is really great. But as far as the other items outside of the fish and chips, I would not say that was a $7 hamburger. And this is the smallest bowl of chowder I've ever seen. Plus I thought that chowder, even though the flavor was pretty good, was a little salty and it was way too runny. So those are the only criticisms I have. Overall though, I think if you're looking for a decently priced, meal of fish and chips and you see a Tom's, you will not be disappointed with that on your plate. We also love the fact that they serve beer here. Now, while their tap selection is a little limited, in fact, their only local beer on tap was an IPA that I wasn't in the mood to try. Um, they also have a bunch of bottled and canned options as well. And that's kind of unusual in a restaurant this style. So that made us happy. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to our channel and ringing the bell so we can notify you when we have new content come out. Also, leave us comments. We love to hear from you. 
you know, give us suggestions about restaurants we should try. Um, maybe you have some feedback about the video, this video or just what we're doing in general. Or you just want to say hi, because we want to say hello back. Also consider checking in with your local food bank, your food shelter, find out what they need right now. It's usually some money or time or just some food donations and you can help out people in your community eat, which is really awesome and it makes you feel good too. So until we dine together again, stay classy.